What's up gamers? Before we get into this video, I just want to shout out all the new subscribers. Um, I This channel is like two weeks, maybe three weeks old, and we're already almost up to 200 subscribers, so thank you. Glad that the content is entertaining or informative. It's, it's really cool to see uh, how many people have hopped on board, and I just want to give you guys a shout out. So, <clears throat> forgive me if I butcher some of these names. Soldat, Soldat Mesterin Junkyard, Hoy Dare, Danstrian, I'm Haymaker M, Van Lee, Hobo Cannibal, I love that name by the way, uh, Mika Slash, Loki Doki, Ricky Jones, uh, Lus Luska, Almond of Doom, I also like this one, <laughs> Digo Gill, Decimate, Christian Stoinov, Sovu, Kalo, Caleb, Yami, Mr. Jorn, let's see, let's see, Mr. Jorn knows, Jorns, I'm going to be butchering that one, Philippe, Ferre, Philippe Ferreria, Ferreira, Da Silva, that sounds like an extremely wealthy person, Matro, Matrogon, David, Davidi, no, you guys are really putting my fucking pronunciation and shit to the test here. David, Davidino, Frosty, also solid, solid name. Daniel Indriago, Peter Trular, Neuralief, yeah, insert name here. Alan Lee, Max Voltage, Minoy, Hidden Sniper, Bill Beamer, also like this name. Dalton Derwin, Valerian. Wish I was cooler. Me too. Ricardo Savlain. Magolte, Magolte Kinsey. Kenton Rainwater. Bear Duncan. Harley Birch. Benja. Travis Lubeck. Codex G. Van Edwards. Lim Lee Gang. Alex Alex. Uh, uh, is the S supposed to be a five? 53rd. No, 50... Holy shit. Okay, Jack... I'm just going to call you Jackson, bro. Thank you for being here, Jackson. Um, Men Forcer? Noah Whitaker? And Chase, I'm, I'm assuming. Whoops. Welcome, guys. Thank you. Thank you all for subscribing. I know there's a, there's a lot of people here that aren't, like... Their subscriptions aren't public, so I can't give you a shout-out, but... I know you subscribed, and I appreciate you. Okay, now I wanted to give you all a shout out. Thank you guys for being here. Thank you guys for supporting me. What's up, gamers? Welcome back to another video. In this episode, I'm going to be showing you which perks are the best starting for perks. Okay, the most optimal perk build for the rogue. So let's take a look at this. I've been playing for about... Uh, shit, let me actually see real quick. Yeah, I've been playing for about 120 hours. 90 of those hours are probably as a rogue. And I've tested just about all of these pretty... Ex well, the good ones pretty extensively, okay? I haven't played around with Pickpocket a lot. I'm actually going to make a video about this here in a little bit. When this guy finally dies and I go back to a starter rogue, I'm going to do a Pickpocket video. Trap detection highlights nearby traps. With the nerf to traps, so you no longer have to play that fucking god-awful minigame which just killed you most of the time because it was hard as shit to fucking pass now you just have to look down tap it like you're opening a door right interact with it and then boom you're out of it traps are not as good as before still really fucking annoying and can totally get you killed but they're not like before so if you're fighting a ranger like you should be thinking okay there's probably traps around you should be in the habit of just checking doorways, especially if the lights are off. Checking hallways, especially if the lights are off. Just throw open your torch real quick. Look around, put your torch away. It takes two seconds just to clear the room. So you don't really need this. Maybe if you're a beginning player, if you just started and you're, you find yourself dying or getting or hitting traps all the time, go ahead. But this is just terrible perk, okay? It's just not that great. Lockpick. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna show you the optimal build in a second, but I'm just we're gonna cover the the runner-ups, right? Lockpick. 
This is nice. When I first started playing Rogue, I used lockpick all the time. I was so excited to find lock checks and lock chests, excuse me, and pick them. It was so much fun. Um, the minigame, all, all of it. It was, it was really, really nice. And occasionally you'd find a really good item and that made it even better. So go ahead and pick this in the beginning just to test it out, just to play with it, just to try it out. Um, I, I think it, it, it warrants a little bit of that. And hey, if you really do find yourself hitting all of the locked chest areas, you know where they are, you like to hit them, then maybe substitute this for for hidden pockets and we'll talk about that in a second that's that's very like this is a good trade here lock pick for hidden pockets lock pick is a viable choice here okay dagger expert increases your physical damage bonus by five percent when attacking with the dagger compared to the other perks you can get which i'm gonna talk about this sucks okay not fucking worth it at all even if you're doing a, a pure damage build you still don't want to take this, okay? If you're going pure damage, you're going to take ambush, poison weapon, and uh, backstab. You're never going to take dagger expert. It sucks. The only way I could see this working is if they added a bonus to it, if they buffed it so that if you used a Chris knife or a Chris dagger or a... Uh... Do I even have one? No, because I, I sold them all because they're fucking trash. Um, or the Cast Castello, I believe it's called. Maybe I have one. No, the Costello dagger, whatever daggers that have the first attack be horizontal. If this allowed you to instead stab overhand or, or you know, like thrust, then it might be worth taking this um, just for the just to make life a lot easier. Maybe <laughs> as it stands, it fucking sucks. Never take this um, creep. I talked about this in a previous video. Don't wear shoes. OK, just don't wear shoes. And then you have creep. You are so silent when you don't have boots on and it's just your feet. It's crazy how quiet you are. So if you want this, just take no shoes into the match. Okay. And when you start a match as a baby rogue, just take your shoes off. It helps a ton. It's, it's basically a free creep. Backstab. Increases physical damage bonus by 30% when attacking from behind the target. A lot of the time... I don't find myself behind the target. You're just going to have to get close to the person and attack when the opportunity presents itself. 30, 40% of the time, yes, they are turned around. You are behind them. You know, you can maneuver behind them. But it just, it's like a lot for me personally to keep in mind to try to maneuver behind them. I prefer just to get in there and strike when, I, when the opportunity presents itself. It's like too much extra work to try to get behind them. Maybe not for you. Maybe this is doable. So you might trade this for hidden pockets for the extra damage. But I found ambush to be much more effective. Um, and we'll get to that in a second. Pickpocket, again, I, I touched on this. I'll touch on it again real quick. Just not that powerful. You can steal an enemy's item from the dungeon. This is more of a meme thing. Uh, it takes a few seconds to work. It breaks you out of stealth. Like It just sucks in its current iteration. Never take this unless you're trolling basically okay now let's talk about the four traits or excuse me the four perks that are going to be your game changers that are going to really help you massively get the edge on on opponents and make tons of money okay first off uh we're going to talk about what do you pick what's your first pick once you unlock or, or you know just just to begin with what, what do you pick first as a rogue one of these Stealth, if you are hiding, you can move 10 steps while crouching or slow walking. Very powerful. This is going to allow you to evade people, get the drop on people. If you want to avoid combat and just focus on making money, get this. If you want to focus on dealing damage and speeding through the dungeon, get Poisoned Weapon. Successful attack applies poison that deals 4 magic damage over 4 seconds. The poison can stack up to 5 times at once. This is going to help you just cut through mobs in the dungeon quickly speed your way through to all the different areas it's going to help you in pvp to apply extra damage very effective um with this it's going to be a lot slower stealth you're going to be a lot slower to clear the dungeon because you don't have the extra dps rupture is going to help a lot this should be your number one um when you get geared you can try weak point attack but rupture is just solid this 
is going to help you clear stuff, but it's going to be slow. If you want to be faster, get poison weapons. Your second pick should be poison weapons or stealth, okay? These are the first two you always get. Play with, you know, which one works best for you to pick first, but your second pick should be one of these for sure. Third pick, ambush. The first attack within three seconds after being released from stealth deals 50% additional weapon damage as damage. Very powerful. You you hear somebody approaching, you stealth, you pop rupture, and then you stealth, you hide. Then you use stealth to position yourself as close as you can next to them. You're not wearing shoes, okay? So you're really quiet. They can't fucking hear you coming up. And then you attack them, and as you break out of stealth and deal that first attack, you're doing a shit ton of damage. You got poison, you got rupture in effect. You're taking down a ton of their life already just with the first opening, you know, a stab or two. Very, very powerful, okay? Solid choice. Always going to be effective. Much more than backstab, in my opinion, um, but you can you can play around with these. Lastly, hidden pockets. Now again, I, I talked about this one earlier. You can swap it out for lockpick. It, it really is a personal preference. Um, it's very easy just to keep your potions like right here, and then as you need them, you just put them back in your inventory. It's very quick. This is just more of a quality of life thing. I did this for a while. It works. It's effective. It's nice if you want to run something else, like lockpick, but I just found just for quality of life, right, just for ease, just to make my life easier, Hidden Pockets is really nice. Just to have these stuff already in your your hotkeys, your, your hot bar, I guess, <laughs> utility slots, so you can easily just pop them on the go. Um, they're not gonna gl the glow in the dark. People can't spot you, people can't see you. It's a big help. So that's what I would recommend as your four main perks to take, okay? Stealth, poison weapon, ambush, hidden pockets. Can make your life easier, can allow you to deal a shit ton of damage, can allow you to stay, uh, stay hidden. There's a lot of flexibility, a lot of utility in this build. And I think it's the, the most powerful, most optimal um, build for a stealth rogue that's focused on making money and assassinating targets when the opportunity presents itself. So yeah, I hope that helps. Uh, thank you so much for watching this video. Please like if you liked it and subscribe if you want to see more. Hey, thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you learned a lot. I have a Patreon and my intention is to, as these playtests roll out, I have a bunch of content and film, so I'm gonna be posting videos throughout the month until the next playtest. Upon that playtest, I'm going to record more footage and keep doing this until the game fully releases. Uh, I love this game. I think it has a lot of potential. And I want to create videos full time and have this be the thing that I do for an income so I can make a ton of high quality videos that are very entertaining or very informative that help you uh, or provide entertainment. And to do that, I need to have supporters supporting what I'm doing so I can produce these videos and make this a full time thing that I'm doing. Um, so here's my Patreon. If you want to support my creation of videos, if you enjoy the videos and want to show me some love, then there are a number of tiers here that you can do with varying benefits. Some of these benefits are, you know, I send you a virtual thank you. Um, all of them have a, a specific Discord role, different color. You'll get your name put in the credits. Uh, some of these I will give you shout outs. So instead of just having your name be in the credits of the video, I'll actually read your name and it'll be like a video, like me acknowledging you in person. Some of these I'm going to go out in public and scream your name to the world and, and thank you for supporting me. <laughs> and yeah, so here's some of the some of the tiers I have available if you want to support me and if you want to help me do this full time, which is kind of my, my big uh, goal big dream here at this stage in my life at the moment so that's all uh, the link will be in the description of the youtube video below in the channel below thank you so much for watching again i appreciate you being here and i'll see you in the next one